What's going on, folks? I'm Dust with Dustfit, and today Garmin's announced the new Phoenix 6 series lineup of watches. And when I say lineup, I really mean lineup because there's way more than just one or even three watches. There's a lot more than that. So, first of all, we have the standard 6 series. So, that's going to be comprised of two different sizes that's going to be the 6S and then the 6. Then we have the 6 Pro, and that's going to have three different sizes that's going to have the 6S Pro the 6 Pro, and then the 6X Pro. And then finally, we have the 6X Pro Solar. Other than the size differences, there are gonna be some differences in terms of the features between the 6 Series, the 6 Pro Series, as well as the 6X Pro Solar. And we'll go over those here in just one second, but let me go over what at least they all get. So all of them are gonna get basically the same features that were found in the 400 945, as well as the Mark Series of watches. And that's gonna be the Pulse OX sensor, body battery, the training load focus, as well as heat and altitude acclimation. So now onto the differences between the standard 6 series and the 6 Pro series. So with the 6 Pro series, you're gonna get music, Wi-Fi, as well as full-blown maps where the standard 6 series kind of goes without that. And then the 6X Pro Solar, that's gonna have everything that the 6 Pro series has as well as solar charging, which we'll talk about here in just one bit. And I think this is a really smart move to offer a version without music or maps because some people may just not utilize those features. So you could sort of think of the Phoenix 6 series, the base level, as kind of like a Phoenix 5 with the firmware update and the Pulse OX sensor. Oh, and while we're talking about heart rate, they have enabled wrist-based optical heart rate for swimming, which is pretty nice to see, but we'll have to see how it actually works out. Another nice update is that with the three different size watches, you're gonna have three different size screens as well as three different resolutions. So with the 6S and the 6S Pro, that's gonna be a 1.2 inch display with 240 by 240 pixels. And then with the 6 and the 6 Pro, that's gonna be a 1.3 inch display with 260 by 260 pixels. And then finally, with the 6X Pro as well as the 6X Pro Solar, that's gonna be a 1.4 inch display with 280 by 280 pixels. So there's a lot more features to talk about. First, let's go ahead and just get price out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and refer to my notes here just so I have everything correct. So with the base level 6S and the 6, that's gonna start at 599. Then with the 6S Pro, as well as the 6 Pro, that's gonna start at 699. And then the 6X Pro is gonna be 50 bucks more at 749. And then finally, you're gonna have the 6X Pro Solar and that's gonna start at 999. And here's the thing, there's plenty of options here and there in terms of Sapphire and different bands and stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, while we're talking about bands, they have everything from like new nylon bands to leather bands. They kind of went nuts with all the bands. All right, so now that we ripped off the band-aid in terms of the price, let's go ahead and talk about battery life. So with each size, they basically have the same battery life, basically. So with the 6S and the 6S Pro, that's gonna have up to nine days in smartwatch mode and then up to 25 hours in GPS mode. With the 6 and the 6 Pro, that's gonna get up to 14 days in smartwatch mode and then up to 36 hours in GPS mode. And then finally with the 6X Pro, that's gonna get up to 21 days in smartwatch mode and up to 60 hours in GPS mode. But with the 6X Pro Solar, that's gonna be one of the main features is that it offers solar charging. So basically it has a little panel on the front that they're calling power glass that's supposed to get you up to three extra days of battery life. On the watch face, you can see a little sun icon that'll indicate the intensity level of the sun. So if you're out in super sunny direct sunlight, all of these little notches on the outside of the sun icon will be full. And if you're inside, it won't have any filled up. And then you'll see this little line below it, which will show you your solar intensity that you've had over the last six hours. And that basically is gonna be a widget as well. But in addition to all that, there's actually gonna be battery management features that are gonna be shared across all the devices. So there's gonna be these custom battery profiles that you can use to kind of custom tailor the battery life for whatever you wanna do. So they're gonna have some preloaded profiles in there such as like max battery life as well as jacket modes. For instance, with jacket mode, what that'll do is basically disable wrist-based heart rate. So that's designed for people that wanna actually wear the watch on the outside of their jacket so you won't need wrist-based heart rate. But in addition, you'll be able to enable and disable certain features such as like GPS, music, phone, wrist-based heart rate, the pulse oximeter, maps, backlight accessories, and then you're also gonna be able to make custom battery profiles depending again on your needs. Oh, and there's also gonna be this other thing called expedition mode that basically shuts everything off except for GPS, but it's only gonna take one GPS point sample per hour. So that's gonna extend the battery life even longer across all the devices. And then one last thing in terms of battery life is that all of the Phoenix 6 series line of watches are gonna be using the Sony GPS chipset, which is basically the same GPS chipset that's gonna be found in 
all of the devices that Garmin has released this year, like the 945 and the Edge 530 and 830. So basically that's gonna improve battery life with a slight expense to GPS accuracy. Now let's go ahead and talk about maps and these are gonna be for the Pro Series since those are the ones that come with maps. So basically the first one that you're gonna get is gonna be map themes and you're gonna have stuff like marine themes, high contrast, a dark map theme, popularity based, as well as ski resorts. But in addition to that, all the map models are gonna come preloaded with 21,000 golf resorts, as well as 2,000 ski resort maps just built into the watch. And then finally, in regards to the maps, there's gonna be trendline popularity based routing directly on the watch itself. And you may have already seen this in Garmin Connect, but basically it's gonna show essentially kind of a, like a heat map in terms of the more commonly used routes, whether that be trails or roads. And this is gonna be broken up with between like, let's say running versus cycling, but it's actually gonna be segmented even further for like running versus hiking. And then the interface is also getting a bit of a refresh. So the biggest thing is that we're gonna see this thing called widget glances, I think it's called. With this widget glances, instead of having one whole widget per page, you're gonna actually see more than one. So basically they kind of condensed each widget a little bit so you can see more than just one widget's information at one time. And then there's also gonna be some new layouts for the data pages where they kind of combine some of the independent data fields like heart rate that had nice color coded areas and then made some of those available as a data field and not just an independent data page. Oh, and with the increased screen size and resolution, they're actually gonna have up to eight data fields available on these 6X models and then up to six data fields available on the 6S and the 6 models. And finally, let's go ahead and talk about what I think is probably one of the coolest features to come with the Phoenix 6 series line of watches, and that's gonna be something called Pace Pro. So when you're trying to hit a certain time target for a certain duration on a run, you're gonna to wanna to manage your pace. And I'm not just talking about keeping the exact same pace over the course of the entire run, because in general, that's not really what happens in reality. Some people may wanna go out a little faster, some people may wanna do negative splits, and that's where Pace Pro comes into play. And we're actually gonna set this up on Garmin Connect. So in Garmin Connect, you're gonna to go to the training area and then you're gonna to go to this Pace Pro pacing strategies area. And then let's go ahead and create a Pace Pro strategy. What you're gonna see is two options. You can either do this by selecting course or selecting a race distance. So let's go ahead and select a race distance first. And then what you're gonna see is some predefined, very commonly used race distances. We're gonna go ahead and choose 5K just to keep things simple. And then on the next screen, you see your goal time as well as your goal pace. And then going to the next screen, here's where you can enter a name for your actual Pace Pro strategy if you'd like to. You can alter the distance if you'd like to again. And then here's where you can enter your goal time and your goal pace. So with the goal time, let's say I want to do a 21 minute 5K. That'll adjust my goal pace to six minutes and 46 minutes per mile. And then you can actually change the splits for either mile or kilometers here. This next little section is kind of what's interesting. So you'll see this Pace Pro minutes per mile. Right now, it has six minutes and 46 seconds across the entire duration of the run. Now, below that, it's gonna be this little slider called pacing strategy. If you go up with positive, what it'll do is it'll actually have your faster mile be first and then your slower mile be last. And then if you wanna do negative splits, you can adjust it the other way, where basically your first mile is essentially going to be a 717, and then the last mile is gonna be a 617. And then you can see that reflected on this little graph below. And then from here, we're gonna click save and there's our new Pace Pro strategy. Now let's go ahead and check out the courses though. And this is something that's pretty neat. So basically uh, with this trail running profile right here. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that one. We're gonna have your goal time again, as your, well as your goal pace. So in here, first of all, it's gonna show a map of your course that you've already loaded in. And then it's gonna have your distance, your goal time, your goal pace, and the splits, pretty much normal. Here's what's neat though. So you'll see here that there's actually an elevation profile with Pace Pro now that they have a course loaded in. And then again, you can adjust your pacing strategy based on what you wanna do. So it's pretty cool because what you'll see is that based on the downhill right here, it'll actually automatically have a faster pace right there. So that's pretty cool. Now, here's the other really neat thing. You see this uphill effort slider. This slider basically means that, all right, so if you are a stronger hill climber, you can actually go to the right here where it's gonna be a little harder, so it'll adjust your pace at that point. And if you want something a little easier, you can just slide it over to the left. And again, it's gonna be reflected on the actual splits down below in this chart. And then when you're actually doing your run, what you'll actually see is your target pace, your split pace, as well as your time either ahead or behind. So I think Pace Pro is gonna be a really beneficial feature, especially in a race scenario, so you can manage your pace over the course of your run without having to have a piece of paper taped to your arm or even written or something like that. So I think this is a really neat feature. 
All right, so that's pretty much everything new with the new Phoenix 6 series lineup of watches. And I really like the fact that they made a non-music, non-maps version because I think there are some people out there that may not utilize those features so they can save a little bit of money. Now, I also do really like that solar edition. And considering I live in Colorado where there's a ton of sunshine here, I'm really eager to test that out. And I believe I should be getting my review unit soon. Oh, and on that note, make sure to subscribe to get a notification for my in-depth Phoenix 6 review. And in the meantime, go have some fun out there and we will see you in the next video.